I don't know what's going on behind closed doors, man. Come on, man. Hey, hey, look, hey, look. Speaking of behind closed doors, let's talk about your song she wanted. <laughs> we, hey, we already there. Let's go ahead and do it, man. And, and look, you told me you told me about kind of the somewhat the inspiration of that Janet Jackson song and stuff like that. But is this about I ain't gonna put you out there, but this is about somebody in particular, or is this just a generic this is she wants? I in the past have talked to a lot of females at night. Hmm. Hmm. And I've noticed that the girls that I talk to yes, yes. are always begging or asking for certain things every hmm. day of the week. Hmm. <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, interesting. Wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me they asked me for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, yeah. All those days. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But you, you notice how I you notice you notice how I leave out Sunday, right? Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Jesus. Where, where am I? <laughs> I did notice that. Where am I at on Sundays? Right. In the house. <laughs> oh no! no. Come on. Right, church. Exactly. Right, right. I'm in the cathedral. Oh yeah. In the <laughs> giving house God, of the Lord. giving God the praise. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, I, but I, I love it though. I do. Because it is, it is, it's the truth. And now, especially now hearing that is that, you know, that homage to Janet. I, I, I absolutely love that. And the collaboration you did with Buck Marley. How did that yes, come about? Sir. Because that verse went with the song and it was so fly. Like, I loved it. So talk to me yeah. about it. how did that come about? He, he did that joint in 10 minutes, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He did that verse in all the 10 minutes. He listened, he told me he listened to it three times. He did it in 10 minutes. I met Buck. Back in 2014, 15. 2014, 15. Um, that's when I first started going to Bedrock. Um, the studio that I wound up signing to. I wound up going to. And um, I met him down there. I was like, yo, man, he got this dope voice, man. Like, his voice is, it can go on anything. Yeah. Like, hearing the song, how he sounds. Like, oh, yeah. he got a rats, raspy, Rick Ross sounding, stack bundles. Like, he. He got a fit full, so well yeah. with the song. I love she that. You want me to look him like a Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then so well, after we, after we, I did my part in the song or something, I was like, yo, they need a rapper, bro. They was like, nah, they don't need a rapper. I was like, nah, they don't need a rapper, bro. I mean, he was like, yo, who you think? I was like, yo, at first we was talking about Knuckles. and was like, nah, Knuckles, I have like a thousand songs with Knuckles. Man. I need somebody new. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, yo, can we call Buck? He was like, yo, call him up and see what he says. You know, Buck, you know, if you don't like the song, he's gonna tell you about it. Right, yo, right. Set Buck the song. Buck pulled back probably 20 minutes later after getting the song. He was like, yo, I just listened to that like five times. Jay, yo, we got one, bro. I'm so honored to be on this. Yeah. I was like, yo, I got you. So he was like, let me know when you come back down to record it. I was like, I'm not gonna be there no time during the week. Dude. Can you just go and do it? The day that he did it, I happened to be in Mount Vernon to go get a haircut. I went by. He was like, yo, are you ready? I was like, all right. They played that joint full blast in the studio. I just sat down and I was like, <laughs> yep. Yep. You, you can't make this up. Yeah. And then 24,331 streams later. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Come on with it. Look, look. Later. Hey, 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 Janae hopped in the comments. Look, Jovan know how to talk to the ladies. You already know what it is. Yo, damn, miss you. I'm mad you're not here. I'm mad. I'm mad. You're supposed to be here. Nay, nay, I sent you a link. Hop on if you need to. If you got some questions, we got. She ain't got questions. She ain't having babies, man. I told you, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, she's preparing to be a mama. She said, man, I wish I could be here with these two great men sitting in a meeting right now. I can dig it. We'll hopefully help you during the meeting. I love you and congratulations. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. That's, that's, that's how it happened. That's exactly how it happened. Um, and then, yeah, we I've been bringing Buck everywhere I go, man. With all four shows, Buck, well, he missed one. For all mm -hmm. other shows, man, Buck is mental. I have another show. I'm opening it up for Ron Browns. If y'all know who that is, it's Mr. Pop Champagne, A Mad Money. Um, I don't know if you any of the songs. It's back in like 2000 or something. Hmm. But um, him and then I'm opening for the guy named Rayvon, I believe his name is. He's um, oh, he's on the song. He's on the song Angel with Shaggy. Okay. Okay. Angel. Okay. Yeah. So I'm opening for that one, the 25th of White Plains, um, oh, this Saturday. 
and then I have a show on that. Yeah, thank you. And then I have a show on um on the 28th in Co-op City in the Bronx. And then I have another one Ju- July 20th in Harlem. So like Come on I'm, now. Yeah, it don't stop, bro. We we like I said, 24,330. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not know, get it, man. Get on there, whatever streaming site she wanted with him and Buck Marley, with Joe Vaughn and Buck Marley. It kills, man, the vibe, the flow. And like you said, talk, speaking about mood and transitions, I mean, when you come at the end of that second verse and then he comes in, it is just a flu, a smooth flow. And on stage, you shoot, you showed it, but definitely in the song, man. Talk, so you talk about that. Like, that is such a good, I, I like that when you can work with people. Like like you and me, when we came on, you were like, I don't need I don't need to go over it. I see what you wrote, we're good to go. It's natural. Talk about that with somebody like a Buck Marley, like being um, natural, just a natural collab. Professionals. Yes. That's the yeah. definition of being a professional. That's professionalism at its best right there. And like the, the we've never been on stage together before. Yeah. We've never been on stage together before. <clears throat> never done a song together before. And then if you can see in, the, in that video. Um, in that show that you just showed, compared to the other ones, even even in the other ones, it's the first time, and you would have thought that we've been performing together for years. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Yep, <laughs> never. <laughs> Mind you, this band that I have, this band, we never performed together. Wait, so that's not the band from before? <laughs> no. Oh, what? That's a whole new band, bro. We ain't never, yo, the first show that we had, man, we only had three rehearsals, bro. What? Three rehearsals. Let me find out, man. Oh, and, then the, and, then the, and then the last two shows that we had that they were a part of, it's only been one rehearsal, and those rehearsals I wasn't even a part of because I know my parts already. They just did it. Like, Jay, this is what we did. Yo, what you going to do to it? We get to the show. Bang, 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 bang. It's right. Guns fire. We, we on point. We, we having fun. Oof. Oof. Look at you. You got you got the people out. Janae talking about wow. Yeah, uh, look, look, she talking about she clearly not paying attention to her Zoom that she's on. <laughs> That's right. I'm glad we can entertain you today. <laughs> Three rehearsals, man. But you know what though? Hey, but you live this stuff. So it is it's right. Like, you know, you don't have to necessarily come out and be there every single day because you live it. You're it's easy, it's natural for you, and that's what I love. It's, it's just like when people play certain beats. If I like the beat, I'm automatically writing to it in my head. Yep. I'm automatically writing to it in my head, and and I it's, and go right after that. And before you know it, I'll sing it out loud for somebody. They're like, yeah, you doing that to that? Right. Oh snap! That's wow. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes, and, and then for certain albums and stuff, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I do sit down and actually study and pay attention to what I'm writing and stuff like that. But with songs like she wanted, which is a quick one, like Jovan, Knuckles, and Beast Mode. Hmm. If y'all know 32, the song um Oceans. Yeah. Oh. Or, or the song, yeah, exactly, Oceans, or the song Peace to My Ex. Okay. Oh. That's on stories. Mm-hmm. We're about to make those worldwide, so we have to bring those back out and throw those back out there being and I'm I'm in this this light right now. So yeah. We, People didn't pay attention to those songs when I wasn't nothing. So now we're going to bring those tracks down and see what, what the reception is and stuff like that. And then oh, there's, wow. a song that I did, there's a song that I originally did on on 32 that never came out. It's called mm. That Magic, mm. which is paying homage to Genuine. Oh, so, okay, okay. So, I like so, that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to break that one out too. Because I was yeah. asked about that last week. They was like, yo, we need to put out that magic right now. Because yeah. it's going where she wanted it. It's, it's perfect. I was like, say less. We're going to do that. So so you're going to drop them all as individual singles? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The reason, yeah. reason, why, the reason why is because they can't, they're not album songs. They can't win an yeah. album. Because you know how I write my album. I write it just like it's a story. Yep. Every yep. song makes sense to the next song, exactly. to the next one, to the next one. Yeah. Exactly. So that's that's what I'm doing. But these songs are just singles that I was going to throw. The piece of my ex is already, it was part of stories. <laughs> Okay. And apparently there's a lot of exes out there. So, and a lot of guys mm. and a lot of girls, a lot of guys and a lot of girls, they're like this. All right, bro, you won't give me no more? I'll talk to you later. Whatever. Deuces. Deuces. Right. Let's get it. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. 
And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.